Okay, the next theorem is uh, requires us to just define what an exterior angle is. Interior angle is easy, it's just the angle made on the inside. That's quite easy. But an exterior angle, like if I if I were to to have a triangle, where would what would be the exterior angle? Would it be that angle? Okay, that's not what it is. An exterior angle is the angle made by the polygon. Now polygon is just a shape like a triangle or a square. Poly means many and gon I think comes from gonia which means other angles or sides I can't remember but it's just something with many sides. Okay. And so it's the angle made by the shape and an extended side. So if I were to have a triangle here, I would extend one of the sides and it would be the angle made by that extended side and the shape. Make sense? Not too bad. Eh? Okay, now the theorem says that the exterior angle of a triangle. Okay, so if I have any other shape, like a Pentagon or whatever, an exterior would just be extending that, and then that's the angle it makes. Okay, so I'm specifically talking about the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum. What does sum mean? Sum added together, the sum of the opposite interiors. <clears throat> and here is where it starts getting slightly, slightly more um, difficult, but not more difficult than the previous one. This one was not difficult at all, just more difficult than what we've looked at so far. But this theorem is, is it's literally saying that this exterior angle, there's the exterior angle, this one's size is equal to this one plus that one. Okay? They are the opposite interiors. So this these all three together is 180. So it's not the outside is not equal to all the interiors because all the interiors is 180 and this one is definitely not 180. Okay? The opposite is equal to uh, or this exterior is equal to the the angles on the inside um, but the only the opposite angles okay now for this ones before we get into the proof without using without using the this proof at all okay let's say this one is 13 and that one uh, no, that should be more than 30. Let's make this one 40 and that one 60. Oh, man, this doesn't work out nice at all. Okay, let's make that one 50. That looks better. That one 50 and this one 60. Okay, and I want you to find this angle without using this theorem. Try and find this angle without using that theorem. Okay, Carl, what did you do? I added the angles 
sub uh, subtracted uh, from the And that gives you this one? Yeah. Okay, which um, gives you? Uh, 70. 70 degrees, okay, so you could find this one. Okay, how is that helpful? And then from 70 angles on a straight line, so I subtracted 170 from 180. Which gives you one ten. You see that? So do you see how you should approach geometry problems when they give you values? It's it's not a straightforward thing. You must go and find the path to the answer. Okay, and and this would be exactly the same as proving. So let me take all of this out. The proof is exactly the same. We follow those paths, but instead of using values, we just use them. Um, the variables so let's call this one a b c and this extension we'll call b so what will our to prove be <laughs> that t a b is equal to A, B, C plus or A, C, B. Yeah, it doesn't matter. B, C, A or A, C, B is the same thing. Okay? What will our first step be? What was your, our first step just now? Uh, <coughs> adding all angles inside. So which is... Uh, a, B, C plus A, C, B plus, yeah, okay, good. So I want to show that this side is equal to that side. So I'm going to get an expression for this one and an expression for that one that's the same. So I'm going to say, okay, A, B, C plus A, C, B is equal to 180 degrees minus this one, isn't it? Minus B, A, C. And why? Because they are the interior, I didn't say that, but that's the, the shorthand interior angles, sorry, interior angles. Interior angles of triangle, that's the shorthand. And since I know now that that's this one, now I want to use the fact that these two are on a straight line. So then I would say, well, angle DAB is also equal to 180 degrees minus BAC. Different reason, they are angles on a straight line. And now I can see, oh, great. These two have the same expression, which means those two must be equal. D, A, B is equal to A, B, C plus A, C, B. And I said it's more, it's more difficult. It's not really. Only thing that makes it a little bit more difficult is that we now just have two terms equal to an expression rather than one term and that's also quite easily done.